This is uh, the way the final looks at the end of the video. Um, and this is our art project today. So, really quick, um, diluted paint, quick marks, quick lines, kind of uh, flowing fluid water is uh, being the stimulating the flow of paint and uh, my brush has got a fairly sharp edge it's a watercolor shape brush uh, uh, brushes for watercolor could be different shapes but uh, a really common shape that I'm using is pointy with uh, a lot of a lot of Absor absorbing capacity it's a round brush but the hairs are designed to come into a point uh, on the edge so I have these two figures upper upper bodies of the figures like um, this uh, feline like a cat creature and with its head and its neck being visible and I have a, a human creature, like um, kind of a, a child maybe, or or like a fairy tale-ish kind of looking character. And um, I am mapping out all of the features of these characters. Like I dot, I put the dots where the eyes would be, and that would give me like a really good idea. And then I can craft the rest of the eye around the placement dot and uh, it's fairly effective it's uh, even at this stage there is uh, already some aliveness and uh, expressiveness to the the face of the character and uh, I mixed uh, a kind of a rough skin tone a little bit more on the red side than normal skin tone would be or you know what what is normal so i mixed a, a pinkish spectrum of color for the skin and uh, i blocked i blocked quite swiftly all of the portions of the figure where skin uh, is taken playing a part and being found visible and i'm also like differentiating as you see i'm using a little darker pink and a little and like a couple of tones of it lighter darker and even darker and that's uh to right away to kind of embed to introduce the no to introduce a notion of three-dimensional properties like uh, two hands being held together for the figure of uh, the one hand being on the lower bottom on the bottom that's the one that's darker painted and the one over lapping is a bit lighter and it's got a more carefully designed uh, shape so you know there's already a 3d notion to it and let's turn to this so what am i doing there i um uh, whimsy fairy tale imagination color and the brush what do i do with it i come up with anything i want to paint and then i just go ahead and start fiddling working through this uh, imaginary um, objective of mine so the cat is like being like crafted and I I want to see a blue cat I I just uh, if it wasn't blue for this painting I wouldn't be interested in painting it so it's it's really like the choice of 
subject and the choice of color crossed fused with my imagination is kind of enabling or driving the process sometimes i uh, would adjust brightness of the video like i just sometimes i look at the screen and i'm like it looks too dark let's uh, lighten it a little bit and then then I look at it, it looks too light, then I go back. So, you know, I just, from time to time, I adjust the brightness of the screen because of my not being happy with what I'm seeing. But um, I kind of like the lighter, um, more, like, more bleached version of the painting, too. And uh, the painting could look differently a different uh, illumination um, uh, like instances let's say I have a, a bright light in the room or I have uh, like a spotlight on the picture it's going to look so luminous and colorful and bright and then you could be in the shadow as well looking fairly um, kind of hidden and kind of mysterious and not so spotlighted well um you see how like i would take these blocked in rough shapes of dark purple gray darker blue mid tone blue and then i would go from lighter areas of the form of the figure and i would like set up where the light is uh, more or where the light is less and how i am connecting these the movement the transition movement from light to mid-tone to dark and then once there is a bit of a balance overall that like the whole object now has like a really um kind of together put together like it holds together as it has a shadow it has a mid-tone it has light now it's gotten a little bit of details and it's almost ready Re almost ready to be called done finished well done cooked mm. imagination and uh, doing an art project where is all this coming from i am just uh, drawn to use this thick um bright paint pink orange red yellow cut with white and then just uh, go into all of that with a palette knife and mess it up and break it up and uh, create um this expressive colorful surface is this really the person's hair of course not this is an expression of human creativity and imagination there is no person there there's no cat there these are all smears and brush strokes marks of paint and i am the human behind the brush so i am crafting ima via my skills via imagination i am crafting an image that will communicate with your mind with your perception all of a sudden there is all this goop of paint and it's exciting it's exciting for me to envision that i'm gonna paint the hair like this and then I'm itching to try it out. I, I want to get a canvas and I want to paint a figure.
and I wanna give give a shot to give my give way to my imagination and my like almost like a craving to have fun with bright abstract brightly and uh, arranged in an abstract way colors and then that's how this uh, from idea or from a vision within me then comes <laughs> the swirls of paint um i i just like and to to add imaginative elements to almost to any project to any art project that i do especially if i conceived this project you know i've been walking around i've been thinking and i've been oh you know i gotta i gotta go back to mixing a lot more imagination into my art projects and why why is it that i'm thinking that it's because mm, there is such a capacity in art projects in a painting there's such a capacity for being something other than the usual being something other than expected so i'm looking for this personal personal connection with the imagination within me with the sublime the joyful and uh, exciting elements of this imagination um i i really enjoy portraying um, human figure and in this case i really like I really focus on childhood uh, fairy tale make belief the how much innocence there is within me as a child before i meet the world and that or how much there is a clean slate how much of a, a white canvas there is inside me and uh, with wide eyes with unbelievable amounts of uh, imagination and creativity i uh, kind of stumble into the world and uh, i in that world anything can happen and it's a science fictional hard to imagine awe aspiring world and i am that child in it with the um, like you know with all that capacity for imagination so for for painting like this for a project like this i really do tap into memories into positioning myself emotionally and mentally intellectually within my world so that's a, a little bit of what's going through my mind on a on a stimulation uh page like oh i'm so stimulated by my sheer interest in experimenting with the medium and like playing with it like i can't wait to grab a bunch of paint and and try to arrange it on the canvas in such a way that will give me these you know diverse or uh, it will give me a, a ability to actively participate in creating through imagining yeah so here this is me doing some uh, fin finishing touches i'm uh, shaping the nose a little bit more i noticed there was a bit of um, asymmetry in it that i wanted to correct so this this is always such a good idea for me to leave the painting hanging out in my studio and just come back 
and uh, just look at it from time to time and to have a conversation with myself or even with others around me. It's like, what else would be wonderful to improve on here? And I was, okay, there's quite a bit of a, a, a bit of an emptiness to the space between the eye and the ear. And I want to put something there. And, you know, I worked on it, but I didn't quite, quite, quite end up with like uh, a perfect <laughs> image or whatever. But uh, definitely, you know, I somehow balanced it. I like added elements to it. So just revision and the uh, fingers of the child's hand like um uh, if you notice i went back and kind of added even more dark to the area on the bottom hand and then i added a more carefully indicated that each finger each digit is there and like you know the ones that are further back were added and then i also added a bit of a, a body of hair like extended on the right side and now I'm finishing up by I thought oh there is such a such a nice dark diagonal going from the from lower left corner and up 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 to the right where behind the figure behind the cat and there's this really nice triangular kind of dark shape that's uh, continuous behind or together with the figure so I thought I'll extend the shoulder over to the left a little more and i will bring some blue into it and yeah that was the plan so and this is like uh i'm happy with the picture it's expressive it's uh it's combining my favorite subjects whimsy abstraction figure and uh the imagination it's imaginative imaginative Mm, or it's imaginative enough and I also like the the painterly meat like the strokes and the marks like this this painting there's no doubt that that's painted there is no f feathering or fading or smoothing too too much like this is bang bang like actively roughly crafted painting I don't know if it's bang bang, but I'll end with that.